buttons. What are you doing? Oh, he's looking for somebody. He's looking for Solly. Is Solly out there anywhere? He's looking. Oh, there he is. Okay. Say hi, Solly. Hi, Solly. Hi. Yes, it's time for our craft. Oh, he likes to do crafts. And it has something to do with our story that we read. Did you listen to the story? You did? Okay. Did you like it? He said he was a little scared at one part. What was our story? Oh, he wants to show us buttons. This is the back of the book. Here we go. The snow lands. Oh, okay. That was our story. And our craft? Oh, he said the story had some sheep in it. What else? A dog. What else? He said there were lots and lots of snowflakes. So what do you think our craft could be? Do you think we're going to make a dog? No way? Okay. How about a sheep? Do you think we're going to make a sheep? Buttons doesn't think we're going to make a dog or a sheep. What do you think? A snowflake? I don't know. It's a little warm in here to make a snowflake. What do you think? You want to check the box? You want to check the box? Okay. Let's see. Where could it? Oh, in there? Yeah, that's where we got to look. Okay, Buttons, you lift up the lid. Come on. Don't get your nose pinched. Come on. You peek first. You peek. Are we gonna like it? We're gonna like it. Okay, all right. Do you wanna help us figure out what's in there? Do you wanna show us? Okay, he's going in, he's going in. Oh, come on, can you get it? I don't know, it might be awfully big. Or maybe it's just slippery. Oh, I'll help you, Buttons. Okay, this is one of his favorite things to use, glue. So we need glue for our craft. All right, go back in there, dig in there. Ah, let's see. Oh my. Oh, buttons. What is this? Another one of his favorite things. What is this? Do you know what this is, boys and girls? It sparkles and shimmers. It's glitter. Do you like glue and glitter? Buttons, you ready to go back in? Okay, there he goes. He's going in. Oh, boy, this is big. Hmm, we need a big board of some sort or something hard. I don't know what that's for. All right. Oh, Buttons, we got caught in the buckle. Let's see. Go in. There he goes. Ah, all right. He's going in. Now he's pulling out. Hmm, a piece of clear laminate. We call it laminate. It looks like plastic, but you can see through it, can't you? You can still see me. All right, go back in again. Um, oh my, oh my. Can you get these all in your mouth? All right, you help. Oh. What's he have? He has Q-tips, doesn't he? What are we gonna do with these? Do we have to clean the sheep's ears? Maybe the dog's ear? I don't know. All right. He doesn't like that. Taste it. Should we get the fuzz off your mouth? Okay. All right. Go back in. Ooh. He's a little afraid of these. He says they're sharp. He says you have to be careful. You cannot throw them. I will be careful. Are you sure? It's okay. You can, you can get them. Always carry the handles first. There we go. We're going to put those down. But we never pass them that way, do we? When we pass it, we always pass them with the handles out, right? But when we go to pick them up, we can pick them up this way. Because Buttons doesn't want to stick that point in his mouth. Ooh, that would hurt his tongue. All right. There's a couple more things. Look at this. This says snowflake template. 
kind of looks like a firework, doesn't it? You want to see? Mm, I think you're a little too close, Buttons. <gasps> oh, yeah, he thinks it looks like a firework too. Okay, so we have that. So what do you think? We've got clear plastic, some Q-tips, glue, scissors, and glitter. What do you think, boys and girls? A sheep? A dog? I think you're right. We're gonna make a snowflake. All right, buttons. Can you lift it? Okay. Turn on. Look what we're gonna make, boys and girls. We're gonna make a snowflake. All right. What do you think? Would you like to do that? Button says he would like to do that. Oh, Buttons, I know you would. But if you get into the glue, your nose is going to get covered. And then you're going to have a silver nose if we get sprinkles on it. You're tired? Okay, well, you can take a nap. Should we put Buttons just in the craft box? He likes to take a nap, doesn't he? Okay, we're going to put him in there. We're going to hang up our snowflake so we can see what we're making. Good night, Buttons. Or to say good afternoon, I guess. All right. Now, I'm going to move the camera down so you can see. So, this is our finished product. All right. And it is on that clear plastic, isn't it? I'm going to hang it back up here on our flannel board. It looks very pretty on that blue background, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Can you see okay? Do I need to move you up? Oh, I wish you could tell me what you, where you can see. All right. Here we go, boys and girls. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do is... Lay your snowflake template on something hard. Now, if you pick up your craft packet at the Her Library in Mifflinburg, it will have the directions and it will tell you to lay it on something hard that you can move. Because you're going to have to move it. It won't be able to lay on the kitchen table all day. Because you're going to have to eat your lunch or maybe your supper. So we have to be able to move it. So we're going to lay our snowflake template on the hard surface. Then we are going to take our plastic piece of paper and we're going to put that on our template. Okay, so see what it is? Tonight I can't really tilt it up to show you because we'll make a mess. Now, I do want to show you, do you see here, there are lines. We've got long lines and short lines. A long line and a short one. And a long one and a short one. There are eight dots at the end of all the long lines. What I want you to do, boys and girls, is take your glue. You can use Elmer's glue. You could use a tacky glue. That would work too. Glue sticks will not work for this project, but any type of glue that you can squirt out. So what I want you to do is put a dab of glue on each of those eight black dots. Now you've got to keep your plastic on the paper, don't move it around or you'll forget which dot you're on. I have one more to do and that is my number eight. And then in the center, there's a big black dot. I'm gonna put a big dollop right in the center. Do you see that boys and girls? I just don't wanna pick it up because it's all gonna run. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. So now we have eight glue dots about the size of a pea. Do 
Do you like to eat peas? I had those for supper tonight. They were yummy. Then you're going to take your Q-tip and look what I'm doing. I laid one end in the big puddle and the other end on the little dot. You're going to take your Q-tip and put it in the little puddle right on that line. And then you're going to take another one and put it on that puddle. So I have one, two, three. I need to make my circle petal bigger, which is okay. You'll just need to make sure all of your end pieces are covered with glue. Here comes number four puddle. Number four Q-tip, I should say. Number five. See how I'm going around? It kind of looks like a bicycle wheel, doesn't it? Yes. There's number six. Number seven. And number eight. Okay. So there you have eight big bicycle spokes or snowflake spokes, we'll say. All right, so we've got those. If you wanted to, you could stop right there, but I wanna make my snowflake have more sparkles to it. So I'm going to take my other four Q-tips, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to cut them right in the middle to cut them in half. So we need to cut one, I think I'm gonna break them. The other day I was doing it and I cut them and they flew across the kitchen floor. So I don't wanna to have to chase them tonight. So I'm just, and you can do this at home boys and girls, just bend it in the middle. See how I did that? And wiggle it back and forth and it breaks in two. So you don't even need scissors. How about that? Buttons won't have to use the scissors after all. So we're gonna break it, we're gonna bend it, and snap it again. Just like a sugar pea, a snap pea. I'm thinking of a chicken bone. All right, now, yes, you're right. We need to put eight more puddles. See those short black spokes? We need to put glue dots right on each of those black dots. Again, the size of a pea puddle. Okay, you can remember they both start with the letter P, a puddle and a P. And then you're going to take the end of your Q-tip, the broken end, and that goes into the center. And then you're going to lay the Q-tip, the cotton end on your puddle. So you're going to go around each spoke and lay it right in there. And let's see, I've got one, two, three, four. I'm halfway there. Here's another one. And see what's happening? I bumped my paper and my lines got shifted. But if that happens, you can just move it around again to get yourself all lined up. It's okay if you bump it accidentally. That happens. Oh, and I got my finger in the glue. I'm down to my last spoke. Okay, now I have all of my Q-tips on. There are actually 16 fuzzy ends, just like the sheep. Isn't that funny? They're little cotton, like the little wool. All right, now what I want you to do, we need to make sure that our little cotton swab, the ends are covered with glue. So you're going to go back over and you're going to squirt glue on each of those ends of the cotton. So how many did I say? 16. There are eight 
long Q-tips and there are eight short Q-tips. And eight plus eight equals 16. So we've got, we need to have all those big globs. They are big globs. All right, now I'm going to use the, do the little ones. So there are short ones. We've got eight little ones. This is a very quiet project, isn't it? Okay. After you have all, oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. Then we need to cover our center spoke right like that. Can you see what I did, boys and girls? When I tilt that up, then the shadow gets there. So I guess you're all right seeing it right there. Now time for the glitter. Since our glue is still wet, you're going to get in your craft bag a little packet of glitter. You won't need all of this, I don't think. You'll have enough for two if you would like to make two. But I'm just going to shake just a little because I don't want to use all of it because snowflakes are very, very, I want to say crisp and clear, but I didn't want to leave just glue globs. I wanted a little bit of something sparkly. Whoa, I got a lot of glitter on that last one. All right, so there we go, boys and girls. I didn't even use half of it. So you don't have to use all of it. You just want to sprinkle. And if you want to take your hands and sprinkle your glitter like that, you can do that too. Now, the tough part. Do you know what the tough part is? We have to let it sit and dry. And it's going to have to dry for quite a while. That's why I wanted you to put it on something hard so you can move it out of the way for mom if she needs to use the kitchen table. So you will, boys and girls, you're going to have to let that set. And I'm gonna come back into the picture now. So you're going to let that sit for probably a day. Maybe it won't take that long. It depends on how big a puddles you make. That's what's going to determine how much, how long it's going to take to dry, okay? But once it's dry, all right, then what you will do, you're going to pick up your plastic after it's dry. Whoa, I just about talked. You're gonna pick up your plastic and then you will cut along these edges. You're gonna make it look like a star. I can't pick this up to show you because all the glue is gonna run off and then it will look like a waterfall instead of a snowflake. But here is my finished product. So here I can show you how it is cut like a star. Can you see that boys and girls? after it was done. The other thing you can do, sometimes you're able to peel it off of the plastic and you can hang it up in your window just like that. So either way you wanna do it, you can hang it up with the plastic background or if it will all stay together, you can peel it off. That's fun too, but a lot depends on what type of glue you use. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? I think somebody's waking up. Who do you think it is? Do you think? Do you think he's lonely? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if he's in there. Do you think? All right, here's my project. Oh, can you see it? There we go. Oh, 
It almost slid off the paper. We don't want that to happen. All right, let's see if he's in here. I don't know, I hear him yawning. Maybe he's not ready to come out. Oh, oh my goodness, he's got a stretch. Sometimes I think maybe he is a puppy dog. He does like to have the back of him scratched. Maybe that's why this year is such a silly year. Do you think? Do you think he has puppy dog in him? I don't know. Well, how was your nap? Good? Okay. Are you hungry? He's hungry. What do you think Buttons likes to eat? Buttons? Maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> Buttons? We did our project. Hmm. He likes it. Do you think it's pretty good? Okay. Can you leave it alone? Don't touch it for about mm, a day, maybe. Okay. Till it's really dry. Okay. He will. Yes. We saw the glitter. <gasps> okay. Maybe you can do that later. Okay. All right. Okay, boys and girls. So remember, if you live in the Mifflinburg area, then you can go to the Her Library and you can pick up a craft package. There's some activity pages in there for you too, if you would like to do those. So come into the Her Library in Mifflinburg. You can pick up your craft bag and take it home, have your mom, grandma, dad, sister, brother, somebody come in and pick it up, okay, and take it home, and then you can do it at home with the help of them. And if you need to, come back to my video and we can do it together, okay? That would be fun, that would be nice. <gasps> what? Oh, Button said so I was forgetting to remind you of something. Are you sure? Do you want to tell them? Do you think they'll hear you? Did you hear him? You did. He said to be kind. How can they be kind while they're doing a craft project? They're not going to fight with the glue, are they? No. What about the glitter? Oh, yeah, the, you don't want to throw the glitter at anybody. That wouldn't be very nice. Oh, that's not what you're talking about? What? Oh, he said it has to do with a mess, if you make a mess. How can you be kind if you make a mess? Button says to put everything away. Whatever you get out. Make sure you pick it up and you put it away. You want to be a friend and be kind and help clean up your mess. You don't have to clean it all up because I know sometimes our messes can get really messy, but always try. Be a friend and be a helper and be kind. Okay, so buttons, shall we say goodbye? Okay. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. I hope you have fun with your snowflake and I hope you hang it in the window. And maybe, just maybe, some snow will fall outside. I don't know. We need some more snow, don't we, before winter's over. Okay, you be good, be kind, have fun. I'll see you next week.